Hello everyone, my name is Maria and welcome to another video. I am hoping you can hear me perfectly well today. It is a lovely sunny day here in Scarborough and I thought I would make the most of it and give you a tour of the Scarborough coast. Um, it is probably the best part of Scarborough um, and yeah, I thought, what better way than to show you on a glorious day as it is today. So, I have just left my house, my home, and uh, I'm just walking down to the seafront, which is literally two minutes away from me, so it's, uh, it's quite handy. But yeah, let me show you Scarborough. Okay, so I am going to first show you this magnificent view. This is one of the best viewpoints of Scarborough, but I'll, uh, I'll get to the proper viewpoint first. Considering it's very uh, sunny and warm, there's not many people out so far. But yeah, that is the view. It is, uh, I'll just zoom in for you there. That is all the seafront. You can see Scarborough Castle there on the top. There's the harbour. There's a, a few boats out already, which is nice. We are going to be walking all the way around that cliff and round to the other side. So it is a long walk today, but it's a very, very nice walk. So, but before we go around there, I am going to show you what's up here. So one thing I will tell you is, I'm sure you all remember Jimmy Savile. He was that paedophile and, um, and he's died now, but he lived in one of these houses. He loved Scarborough. Um, but yeah, I don't know which house it is. It's one of these ones, I'm sure. But yeah, just a little fact there about Scarborough. Not a particularly nice one, but a fact, still the same. Beautiful flowers there. So, we are going to first look in the Rose Gardens. This is where all the squirrels are. I'm sure they'll all be out and about today. Oh, there's one over there. Hi, I've got some nuts with me actually. I'm sure there'll be a lot of people in here today. Yeah, the benches are quite full. So. Oh, there's a squirrel there. They bury their nuts all in the rose garden. Let's see if I can bring one over. Okay, so I've got a couple here. Let's see if I can bring one down. So. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, this is a really peaceful place. Um, a lot of people come here to read, walk their dogs, sit and chill, and obviously feed the squirrels. It is so pretty. It's lovely in spring and summer when all the flowers are out. It does make a nice, lovely walk. Okay, let's move on. Oh, there's another squirrel. <laughs> it's like a little playground for them, all these trees and banks and There's another one over there. Oh, just jumping about. Let's see if I can bring another one over. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it is so peaceful. It's, it is unreal. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to a few nuts in my hand and just carry them around so they're not stopping and starting because it is a long walk what we're going on today oh here he comes let's see if i can bring him on the bench come on of nuts in my hands ready because I'm sure we'll see more squirrels as we go along And off we go to the Italian gardens. If you follow me on Patreon, you will have seen all this because I do, um, on Patreon, I do give everybody an insight into my private life. So what I don't show on YouTube. So some of you have already seen all this. We'll go this way. I know a lot of people consider like squirrels and pigeons as vermin, especially pigeons, but I don't know, I enjoy, I enjoy feeding them, I do. Because pigeons love these monkey nuts as well. And uh, when you open your bag up and you, you, know, you obviously make a sound of the rustling, they all know, the squirrels and the pigeons know what you're doing, you know what you've got. They aren't stupid. So if you leave your hand out with the peanuts, with the nuts in your hand, um, the pigeons do fly over and sit on your hand. I think I've got, a, I put a picture of it the other day on Instagram. I just love it. So we're gonna go down there. <gasps> There's a squirrel there. Just dropped a nut. Damn. Hello, little fella. <laughs> oh, he's too busy looking for stuff. Oh, I've dropped a nut. Oh, he's gone now. I don't know where he's gone. Oh, he's gone in the tree. He's gone in the tree. Let's go down these stairs. More steps. <laughs>
I'm not I'm trying not to speak so loudly because it is a peaceful place I don't want to spoil it for everybody else so that goes all the way up there but we're not going down there we are going to make a right down here now this garden what I'm going to show you is absolutely stunning it really is it's so much nice when all the flowers are out because it adds a bit of colour but it is still lovely even without the flowers I'm hoping there are still some flowers left there should be this is where we're going So these are the Italian gardens. Absolutely beautiful. It's so quiet. No screaming kids or anything. Just the sounds of the birds and just the uh, the chit chat from people. Scroll down there. Let's see if I can call it over. Oh, nearly fell then. <laughs> oh, there's one down here. Oh, there's two down here. Okay. <laughs> Some of them can be a bit scared. But some of them are happy to like come right up to you and touch you. Like so far a couple of them have actually touched my hand with their paws. There they go. <laughs> over there they're burying their nuts aren't they now this is the pond apparently it does have frogs in I'm sure it does. It's even got a little uh, frog path, but I've seen squirrels use it as well. That's quite nice. Oh, let's see if I can make this one come to me. It's got one eye. Poor thing. Look. Oh, I've never seen a squirrel with one eye before. Mm. 
Rosie the Pop Goddess. It is so relaxing. It really is. I've got some more nuts. I'm going to see if I can get rid of them before we crack on with the rest of our walk. Some squirrels over there. Look like they're playing. Okay, let's go, let's go this way. So we are now leaving the Italian gardens. You can just see the sea there with the two boats on it. We're going to go this way. Apart from the sounds of the uh, sirens in the background, just listening to the sounds of the birds, the pigeons. It's such a lovely. It's just so pretty. And all the flies, can you see all the flies over there? nice when the sun comes out because all nature comes alive. I'm sure you can still see them when uh, on a normal day when it's not as sunny but I've noticed that when the sun does shine you can see a lot more flies and bugs and insects. It's hard to believe this is all on like just about the seafront, you know, squirrels on the seafront, you know, it's, for me that's unheard of, but when I found out there's squirrels up here, I was like, blimey, and there's even rabbits as well, there's rabbits the, op the opposite way to where we're going. Now usually there's a squirrel on this bank here, somewhere, oh yeah, there's one. Let's see if we can. Entice it over. Got a knot. <laughs> oh, that one looks like it's got a knot already. Is it burying it? Over there. Hi. I don't know if you can see it. Just um oh it's just in front of those people. Here we go. Here we go. You're gonna come. You're gonna come. Circling around them. <laughs> Oops. I don't know where that other one went. I'll just pop the rest of my nuts in my little pocket.
So there's a Scarborough Harbour. It's a lovely day to go out on a boat, isn't it? Just beautiful. There's no school. running away from me. Silly, does it not know I've got food? <laughs> I'll chuck him one. I don't know where he's gone now. He's probably gone down the bank. Who was it? Is it? I see his tail. It's bearing some <laughs> Another nut for you. I'm sure that'll be the last squirrel now. Let us continue. My housemate Libby, she wants to uh, join us on our uh, walk, so uh, I'm just doing a little double back and uh, going to meet, oh, which way did I go? This way. Yeah, I'm just going to do a little double back, back to the Italian gardens where we're going to meet her. So, oh, there's a few schools at the bottom there. Um, so yeah, she will, uh, you will hear her and see her in the videos now, but I will still try and be as informative as I can be. Um, on this little tour for you. Well, it's not a little tour, is it? It's a, it's a big one. <laughs> but yeah, just gonna meet with Libby and then uh, we can uh, carry on. Squirrel over there, look at it. <laughs> Come in here. Where are you? There we go. I have a nut. There's another one running over there. <laughs> there are a few. I'll just walk. Back this way. We have another hungry squirrel. There's a couple coming. Coming. 
Come on, little fella. Come on. The key is to keep your hands. Well, that for me, if you keep your hands as low to the ground, then they will come up to you. But these ones are quite tame. These ones are, um, I think, used to being fed. Got some dog walkers there. Libby should be coming up from over there. There's another squirrel. Oh, look up. There you go. He's been silly, he's going the other way. I'm over here. It's just so peaceful. Oh, here comes Libby now. I think I can see her. I just saw a figure and it looked like her. Ah, oh, the skull right over there, around the top. I don't know if you can see where the bench is. You can just see. Ah, can you see it? <laughs> it stood up. On the bench. Oh, where is my finger? There. Oh, there's Libby. There she is. Hey, Libby. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> I think the sea is a bit calm today which would be nice but you can still hear it it'd be, it'd be great we'll have to go crabbing one day oh it's amazing it's <laughs> I went crabbing right near the um, Sea Life Centre because yeah. it's tight. There's so many rocks up there, and uh, there's um, some dinosaur footprints there as well. But I've not been able to find them. You have to wait till the tide is right out. And uh, but it, oh, the crabs up there are massive. You just lift up the rocks, and they're there, hidden. Yeah. 
It's beautiful, isn't it? So we'll get our, our steps in. Oh, what's that on there? There's another dog photo there. Oh. Yeah, I was hoping that because it's Monday, everybody be at work. Kids. No. Because the kids might be back from school now. As long as I don't get it. <laughs> I can't afford to take time off work. Oh, mad in it. So um, that used to be bathing. Yeah. Back in the day, that's where all the ladies used to bathe. Somebody there already in, enjoying it. <laughs> it feels it. It looks it as well. It looks, it looks brown. <laughs> oh, look, the tram is working. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd love to work from home. <laughs> that hotel right in front of you, that's called the Grand Hotel. Apparently it has 365 rooms to represent the days of the year. It's got like four pillars at the top to represent the seasons. Um, it's got so many floors to represent something else. You know, they've done it like... I wonder if it's 12 floors to represent the months of the year. It's something like that, but I think that's quite a, uh, an interesting idea, whoever built that building. And apparently there's old tunnels underneath as well. When I worked at the deli in Humminbee, this, this lady came in and she, she had this um, brochure in her hand and she showed me it was actually one of the original um, menus from the hotel from about in the 60s and it, she found it in the tunnels. Oh, I love stuff like that, I just think it's so interesting. A bit of history, especially because it's local as well. Have you ever walked up to that lighthouse before on the way round? That's nice. We'll do that. I might get myself a hot dog or a burger or something. Or shall I get an ice cream? Mm.
The beach is looking very busy today. I wonder how many are in groups of six or less. You what? I can't believe people were paying money on the tram. When there's a perfect wheelchair access as well up there. Look at that. Public conveniences. <laughs> I think that building looks quite eerie, doesn't it, from here? That's a town. That's a town hall, isn't it? Yeah. Really nice. Oh, of course it is, yeah. <laughs> How is it? Worst journey home. I don't know, the journey to school would be the worst one for me. <laughs> it was just such a long journey when it was down the lights. So oh, yeah, yeah. People are getting on the uh, wheel. You know when you're on the seaside when you can smell hot dogs and donuts and stuff like that? Oh, yeah. So the beach is very busy for a Monday. Going past all the amusements now. All the burger bars, fish kiosks. There's the lifeboat station. Lots of fish and chip shops. I once saw a dirty nappy float in there as well. It's disgusting.
At least she would have been off that Chinese from last night. <laughs> yeah, I needed it as well. Hey, there you go then. And this walk will balance it out nicely for you as well. Oh, you'll definitely do that now. Oh, I can smell. I'm sure it's ass. Yeah, garlic, yeah. Oh, can you actually order from them? It is nice in there, especially when you get to sit at the top of your, yeah, and you can see. Do they call it al fresco? <laughs> It is busy, isn't it? Look at it, it's a Monday. Look at all the boats. Look at all the birds sat on the crab nets. So we're going to walk along there, Libby. Do you need a toilet? We're not charging at the moment. No, no. Right. I can see the seaweed. Scarborough Fair. It used to have a big wheel in there, but they've moved it, got rid of it. Do you remember that? They used to have the big wheel there. And this path will take us all the way along and we can walk along the top. It is quite nice. I once found a hermit crab here. It was still alive. Must have dropped from a seagull's mouth. It was still alive in a massive shell it was. Like a, looked like a conch shell. We've got some nice looking boats there. On a night, it's lovely because everything's so lit up. Yeah. And you can see the moon now and it ref reflecting in the sea. It's very picturesque. Some good boats, isn't there? Very expensive looking ones like that one there. I'd love to just hire a boat for a day and just... Oh, they've not got the bridge across there. We can't go across. Uh, where that gun is, on the sat on the end. They've not put the bridge across. Ah, oh, that's nice, isn't it? Go and have a gin on a boat. 
Dunkirk. Oh, that's really nice. We'll just have to walk back this way. I'm gutted about that. Because you can just walk all along there. <laughs> I wonder if we're gonna let this boat in. That's why the bridge has been taken away. Oh yes. <laughs> We've got a boat coming in. The little dog's got a life jacket on. <laughs> <laughs> It's a shame they've got rid of that. That gun. Can just see Scarborough Castle right on the top there? One thing I've noticed is a lot of people have been coming out reading, which has been really nice to see, especially in those uh, Italian gardens and the Rose Garden. Exactly, yeah, and that's nice that. I feel like they respect things better as well, you, you know, so they've come out screaming and shouting and yeah, exactly. Like I saw some of the people sat on the beach drinking prosecco. So I was like, yeah, but at least they just sat there and found on. Yeah, true. If, you keep, if you're keeping your souls to yourself and not causing any hassle or drama, I think that's fine. Yeah, not a problem at all. Look at that sea monkey boat. Yeah, you can just see there, the gate there. Yeah. I've been up there. Oh, the, not, what, that little bit there? Yeah. Oh, God, you're going to have to show me the way. I can't remember from the video, <laughs> but I remember being up there now. So this is North Marine, is it North Marine Drive? Yeah. There's a North Marine Drive. This is where you see all the dolphins and porpoise 
and sometimes seals. I've seen them a few times, but the sea, even though it's not rough, it might be a bit too, it's moving a bit too much for you to actually see the porpoise, but you never know. This is where I come on my bike. They'll never be able to get rid of that. No. Oh, I've been to Tenerife, yeah. Those pyramids in the background, I don't know if you can see them, but that is the Sea Life Center. We are gonna go walk just in front of them and then we're going to do a detour. We're going to go in there, look at some, a place where there used to be a fair, but it got um, knocked down. But there's still some bits there, still like the cable cars, they're still there and bits and pieces, which is very interesting. Don't you go by messaging him though. Smells really seaweedy around here. I'd love to surf in Australia. Oh, but that's amazing. You see here about a lot of shark attacks now, don't you, on the news?
Oh, the birds just sat there. Going on the waves, <laughs> look at them. <laughs> oh, it does smell. Yeah, it's not a... I don't think it does, no. I like the colourful chalets up there. It's like a nice seaside-y vibe. few restaurants there. I've never been in, in any of them. I wonder how much it costs to stay in one of them. I won't class it as five star. I think because I know the uh, we know the area. And we... Here are all the different colours, coloured chalets. Is it chalets? Yeah, chalets, yeah. Sea life centre's just there. Uh, there's somebody canoeing there. Two story chalets are. <laughs> oh, so they come with. Oh, that's like a mini kitchen in that one. Bloody hell. Yeah. Like Cooker. <laughs> Do look nice, don't they? Some mm. stairs. So it's got its own kitchen. It'll have its own bathroom, surely. Okay, so now we're going to turn left, just around this cafe, and we're going to have a look at the abandoned theme park. I hope you're ready, Libby. <laughs> So this used to be where all the cable cars used to come. <laughs> right Libby, we go up that track there where that... <laughs> go on, we can do it. No, we can do it. <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs>
we go. There's the few. We're just making our way up to see where I think it's called, it was called Mr. Marvel's amusement park. I think about 10 years ago it all got knocked down, which is a shame. I used to go there as a kid. I, I seem to remember I had some really good rides, some roller coasters and but it's all derelict now, it's all abandoned. I had a, I had a wee in there once. <laughs> It reminds me of like a zombie apocalypse, you know, when yeah, everything's overgrown and there's nobody around. I feel like we're in The Walking Dead. So peaceful. How many birds can we hear? Here's a derelict cable car place where you'd get on and off. Mad in it. This place used to be full of people, hundreds and hundreds of people, and now it's all empty. There's a lot of glass on the floor as well. I think people have been having, um, obviously, drinking. See all the glass over there. Yeah, just mind the glass, Libby. It's a lot. Yeah. Oh, what's that? That's mad, isn't it? Is that the engine or something? Oh, that's it, yeah. And someone's had a fire in there. There's some, some berries on that tree. <laughs> that, it's on... My sister tagged me in some on Facebook about the history of Scarborough, and that, yeah. I can't remember what it was used for. I know, there's loads, isn't there? It was B, B. So that's where the main theme park used to be. 
No. There's some bits left, like on the ground. Oh, it is, because there's another there's another cable car thing, but that one's better. Can't get to that. I don't know what that is for. Oh. I wonder if there's any adders. Oh, they won't jump out at us. Come on, Libby, we can do it. You what? You've got to go round, and that's our exit way, and it takes us out towards um, Open Air Theatre. There's a lot of blackberry bushes out there. <laughs> Gonna follow her in Libby's where Libby's been. Go on Libby, you can do it. <laughs> Oh, the workman left. Oh. I'll give him his due because this guy's really. <laughs> this looks like a pond could have been here. Or some sort of ride, like a baby ride. more stuff over there. This is, this was huge, this place was it? It looks... It's hard to believe a theme park used to be here. You are? <laughs> yeah, she's there now. So taking pictures, about five minutes, and she's done wiping stuff down. Because so this path would have led to something. Look at all the beer cans. So much glass on the floor. Someone's made a little campfire here, made a little. Yeah, I've just seen that pop up. <laughs> oh, look, we've got a little butterfly plant. People have obviously gone mad here and just started smashing things up on purpose, aren't they? Look! That would have been for something. I can hear people. 
Oh, I've got other explorers. There's a bit of cable there on the floor. Oh yeah, there's the other cable car thing over there. But this one still has its roof on. It looks quite eerie when you go near it. I wonder what that one's. Can you smell weed? Yeah, I can. You can. <laughs> yeah, but you go through those bush trees there. Oh, yeah. It takes you towards the uh, open air theatre. This is a bit steep. I wonder if I'll slip and fall. Leo. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. Minecraft book. <laughs> the cable goes all the way down there as well. There you go guys, there's a bit of history there for you from Scarborough. Just the skeleton left of what one was once a theme park. So we've left the uh, abandoned theme park and now we're going to have a little walk in P-Zone Park. You will have seen photos of this um, during lockdown early on this year, what I took. It is very pretty inside. Oh, the lake is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and the Pizan Park's absolutely lovely. It's full of squirrels, birds, geese, ducks. Oh, they've opened up the middle bit. That was shut for years. It's like an or yeah, it's Oriental. Yeah, because it was on Scarborough. We're gonna have to. We'll go this way first, because this is the only way you can get up to it, and then we'll go to secret places over there. But that's the nicest part of the park. Going that way, right. but going up to the top, I've not been up there since, God, since it's shut. So we're going to go across this bridge and we're going to go to the island. The island has been shut for years because... Uh, people, I think it was like kids were damaging it and uh, graf putting graffiti up there and, and whatnot. So this is the first time in, I mean, like about five years since uh, I've been up there. Let's go. The steps not big enough to step. <laughs> A 
almost like a waterfall on either side on a night it lights up multicolored it is so pretty all right libby you lead the way Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> This is nice. It's, have you, you've never been, you've never seen the other side, have you? No. Um, it's up there and you get to a cemetery, but it's really hauntingly beautiful. You'll see what I mean when you see it. It's all like from war people. But you've got to go down a little upper path. I don't think a lot of people know it's, knows it's there. I think that's why it is called the Secret Garden. That's quite nice. I feel like we've had a right proper exploring day now. I feel like we've made a really good use out of our day. Maria and Libby's adventures. <laughs> right, this is where they do the uh, naval warfare. Sea battles, I wonder if we'll see any of the boats. There'll be danger explosives, they'll be in there somewhere. I wish I had a picnic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Going up. Mm I think we are near the top. So there. Looks like a hobbit hole. It's like a little Zen garden. <laughs> There's a little crocodile there, made out of wire. Yeah. 
This is so nice. It does look very oriental. <laughs> no. I'm taking two or three at a time. Right, we'll go the other way round. Yeah. We're going to turn left here and uh, go. <laughs> it happens. 10 a.m. to. It used to shut like at six o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how embarrassing would that be? <laughs> so here we are. I'm sure we're going to see lots of squirrels. That weeping willow up front. That tree. That. Oh, yeah. Couple of ducks and geese. There's a squirrel coming out. <laughs> what are you doing? It's got some in its mouth. What have you got? It doesn't look. Oh, there's one. Of, oh, there's loads up there. There's one here. I don't think it's friendly. There's one of there's one here that does actually jump on you. The thing is, people bring the dogs here, don't they? So yeah. it scares the uh, squirrels away. <laughs> nice little uh, squirrel carved out of wood. Wishing well. Look at them all up there. There's two, there's three on the bank. There's another one. Oh. There's another one there, Libby. No, he's making a friend, though. 
It's nice in it with the weeping willow. It's so pretty here on a night because the ponds do light up as well. I think there's like little lights just dotted. Is a squirrel coming down? We've fed a lot of squirrels today, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's two more up there, Livy. <laughs> there's loads. Another one on the tree. Mm. Can you do that one put its arm up? Put yeah. oh, her hand on you. There's another one here. It's oh, it's two. One can have one phone and the other one's going to have to... I don't know what's going in water about that. Squirrels everywhere. Oh, look. There's a bit, look. <laughs> Yes, you can. <laughs> no, I can't. There's a duck <laughs> ran across the. So this part's really nice. Um, it's an ideal place to go. It's like if you're going on a date. Yeah. It's pretty, but you know, you, I don't like doing cinemas on a first date because you can't talk, can you? No, it's good. Have you seen all these squirrels in front? Mm. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe if they get speed in it, we'll be fine. <laughs> One, two. Oh, I hit you. I apologise. Let me look how many's here. That's a fat one. Oh my god, don't steal from it. <laughs> that was a right porky. Oh Bloody my god, seagulls. That was greedy. <laughs> look at that one. <laughs> Libby, there's more coming down here. Yes, you can. It's the experience. Hello. Absolutely loads. That's all we got then. I'll have to get some more.
Yeah, this is where the, like, lot, there's a lot of birds. Mm, hello. <laughs> You seen that owl in the back, carved out of wood? Mushrooms. Oh, Libby, there's some more in front. <laughs> I've got three as well. Oh, there's one here. Hello. Come here, you. So many animals. <laughs> uh, there's another one around here. Come. See, people think that's it, but it isn't. It goes all the way up here. No, not yet. It does go up here, yeah. As soon as we get, here, get to the uh, graveyard, I only came across it unexpectedly because I took the wrong turn. Yeah, well, you'll see more squirrels, don't you worry about that. I've got the one. I'm going to have to buy a couple more bags. There's a lovely bench up here, it's made out of, um, I think it's metal, yeah. and it's got all the, uh, or most of the star signs on it, yeah. that's quite cool. I think we do make a left, but round here is quite nice, there's like another river that comes down here. There's a squirrel over there. Here it comes. <laughs> you know, don't you?
Yeah, there's no signs for the secret garden either, obviously. But uh, I hope they've cleaned it up. Well, if they've done the island in Pisa, I'm, I'm hoping they have done up the secret garden. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we'll go up. No, we'll, 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 we'll carry on. It's not far from that, yeah. I know it when we get to this other cemetery, it's kind of separate to Dean, Dean Road Cemetery. Right. I mean, I suppose you probably could get to it up there, but... All the red berries are coming out, ready for Christmas. Actually, no, it is the other way. Sorry, Libby. Yeah, go on. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> but we did it in seconds. <laughs> it's nice that they've got these little bird feeders around. Yeah, that takes us out of Pizon Park. We don't really want that one. Don't know. Okay. We'll go around there. You'll see. Oh, no traffic goes across it, does it? It should have traffic on it, it's quite wide, isn't it? This is the garden with the bench on it, with the, uh... Yes! It's quite nice. It's like an eerie looking photograph of the moss. There's the bridge, a bench. Oh, look at that, two Stellas. You can see all the star signs on the... Okay, we do have to turn off at somewhere around here. This is, yeah, this is the graveyard I was telling you about. That looks a bit haunting. Not the main one, but. Okay, I'm sure. 
joints up here. That dragonfly, you see that? Come out. You see it? Oh, heck. And they say if like a headstone's fallen down, it meant they've passed to the other side. Oh, really? Yeah. Because in this underworld, it's like the middle between gone and in heaven sort of thing. Yeah. I might, I'm going to have to give that a go, sure. I heard so many good things about it, but I have heard that it does go uh, a bit crap. It does. You just got to be careful. Yeah, it's somewhere here around here. Come on. <laughs> so this is the secret garden, but looks more like a dump. Tree fawn. <gasps> Shit. Oh, I'm not stone. It does take us out towards Dean Road um, graveyard. Don't yeah. Oh, we will, because I came up this way when I found it. <laughs> it might get nicer. I think it's because of this bloody tree in the way. Uh, or just... Yeah. Some squirrel will find it, or some tramp. Do you remember watching Secret Garden the film? No, Maggie Smith was in it. That was quite good. But this garden is not like that garden. <laughs> yeah, but there used to be a river, a stream r r next to you on your right. It's all dried up. I think it's on this stone where it says the secret garden. Hello. Hello, Hello you. Okay. That is sad, isn't it? Yeah. I'd love to see photos from it before. It's a poppy. Single poppy. Um, this guy was twenty eight.
It's fake. Look at that for a mushroom. That's a mushroom, that. Fungi. Yeah. I think you can walk across it. We passed it when we were up. Look at all those mushrooms there. There you go, look. God, there's loads around here. Bloody hell. It's shared. It might be just the two of us. There's three people on there. Might be that bit, might be just six people. They've got their own plot, haven't they, for their family? Mm. Not like most of them in this country, not gonna lie. It does look sad, but it also looks beautiful at the same time. Mm. Cause that, that one's been removed. That's the top. There's that um, dragonfly, it's gone over there. Right, right turn. What's that? Can do, I suppose. <laughs> There's no bag in it. <laughs> There's mushrooms there. 